mini tour is the big five embodies what Africa is all about. But for Tembalani in the ghetto, they've become somewhat of a passion. He spent much of his creative life trying to turn Hood into some of the most vivid and striking pieces of art featuring the continent's great five animals. Along the way, he's found a market as well. He specializes on the big five. And the big five, I, that's, before, that's why I'm making the big five, is because of the tourists. I know what they, they wanted, and they wanted to sell it. Because if I sell the big five, I get a lot of uh, customers, and they, they sell a lot of uh, items. In his studio, situated in a craft center in Cape Town's Langa Township, he gets to work on his latest piece, a herd of African elephants strolling into the sunset. What makes his work quite unique, though, is the lens he goes to to source unique pieces of wood to create his art. The wood I using the two different wood, because the wood is come from Eastern Cape. Is the wood is come from Johannesburg. When you pass uh, before you get the borders, is, is going to Zimbabwe, and that wood I get it from here. Whether it's a handcrafted bust or a frame collection, there's a big market for them and it's easy to see why. The tourism peak season is fast approaching and that means a high demand for souvenirs which also brings good business for Tembalani. There's a lot of tourists come, come, come in in the center and they buy a lot of, of the pictures and they like it. For now the work never ends for this artist as he digs deep into his creative process and begins to tackle much more ambitious projects featuring his favorite five. Reverend Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.